Hello, and welcome to the TouchTerm Pro video tours. In this first video, we're going to give you a lightning introduction to some of the basic operations of TouchTerm Pro. So we're going to move through things pretty quickly, and then go into more detail in later videos. So I've logged on to my save connection, and the first thing to notice is that the entire screen area is devoted to the terminal display. One of the basic ideas behind TouchTerm Pro is that instead of taking up screen space with interface elements like a toolbar, we can use gestures to perform frequently used tasks. So for example, to bring up the arrow keys, I can do a single tap on the left edge or a double tap on the left edge to bring up the common keys, and a triple tap to bring up the function keys. And once these keypads are up, I can use them as before, so control P to bring up my previous command, and return. Then I'll hide the keyboard and show that the LS contents are out on the screen. When I'm done with the keypads, I can do a tap and hold on the left edge, and this will hide all visible keypads. We can also use gestures to control font size and scrolling. So a single down swipe will reduce the font size, so I can see more of the the font on the screen, the text on the screen. You can also do a tap and swipe down, and this will fit the font size to the height of the screen, or tap and swipe right, which will fit the font size to the width of the screen, so I can see the full screen contents. Now this font is very tiny, but it's worth noting that when the font is small, or at any time, you can do a double tap to perform a quick zoom operation, and this will zoom in on the area of the screen that you double tapped, so you can easily read when using a tiny font. And just tap to dismiss that and do a tap swipe down to go back to my original font size. And now I'm going to bring up the keyboard again and do an LS. Of course, the keyboard's obfuscating a lot of the text right now, so what I can do is a double swipe down and right, and this will make the keyboard highly transparent, so it's easier to see what's going on. Now, I want to list the contents of my library directory, only instead of typing the entire thing, I'm going to use the text completion interface. A tap on the right edge brings up the text completion. Now I have a list of everything that matches what I've typed so far, that is an L. Now I just want to select the library directory, and then hit return. And now I have the contents of my library directory. So this has been a quick introduction to the basic operations of TouchTerm Pro. And keep in mind that all the gestures, commands, and keypads that we've seen are all configurable, so the real power comes when you get to set them up for your own particular uses. We encourage you to check out our other videos for more details.